my name is Ashley Lopez. My name is Alan Panetto. My name is Isaac Emmanuel Morales. My name is Natalie Campos, but people call me Nati. I'm here from LA. I grew up in West Covina. My dad is from San Salvador, El Salvador, and my mom is from Mexico City, Mexico. I'm a psychology major. Last year, I did get my um, certificate for being a mental health worker. So that's something I'm really excited about because I know that I am passionate about like having some kind of job in psychology. I know in a lot of like Hispanic or even just like other kind of cultures, therapy is really looked down upon. I know a lot of people who go to therapy, they're kind of seen as like maybe they're crazy or things like that. Really had the privilege to grow up in a home where like therapy was talked about, mental health was talked about. It was like really accepting and like it was okay for me to go to therapy from a young age. So that's just something that I know has really helped me in my journey. And I just really want to be able to share that experience with other people. My parents are from Ameca, Jalisco, which is close to Guadalajara. I'm a marketing, fourth year marketing major. Growing up uh, in a Hispanic household, I grew up with the fear of like our parents embedding fear of credit cards, of credit scores, so not talking much about uh, finances. I know I had to kind of like start learning about finances, which is one, one of the reasons why I decided to get into business becoming a financial coach and working with the Financial Sustainability Program. We essentially work with uh, students when it comes to financial literacy. Recently, we did a budgeting workshop. We've done credit score workshops, credit card workshops. Again, just to, the way I feel it, I feel like it's important is because, as I mentioned, you know, try to like bring that financial literacy to uh, my community here at Woodbury. I am from here. I grew up in LA, just the classic, you know, like Hispanic um, area. And my mom is from Colombia and my dad is from El Salvador. My major is applied computer science and I also minor in business management. My mom has been very successful. So she was able to put me in a really good um, school, like K through 12. I joined computer science then and I was basically told, and I quote, the men are talking. I would go into class they would ask me why am I so ghetto for like wearing hoops and like you know wearing my makeup a certain way or like speaking Spanish when they wanted me to speak English it's it was it was tough being in that stem field because it was so like male dominated and also like not Hispanic people I was the only Hispanic girl in my stem concentration like ever I just really want other women in stem especially Hispanic women to know that if they tell you that you can't you definitely can don't be afraid to push back even if they tell you that you can't do it or that you don't belong here or that you're not the type or you don't look the part i've gotten all of that growing up my whole life so just literally keep showing up and someone's gonna see you i'm a second year fashion design major I was born here in Los Angeles. My parents are from Zacatecas, Mexico. Coming to school is, I, I guess I can say, one of my biggest accomplishments and fulfilling my parents' dreams as well because like, they came from Zacatecas with nothing and coming over here and working. I don't think I would say I'm paving a way. I would say I'm following a path that has been paved for me and I'm contributing to that path. Just being here studying and knowing that I can have the education that I deserve and what my parents worked for is so great and so like heart fulfilling. My parents, they came into this country, I want to say about 22, 23 years ago. Did that sacrifice of leaving family behind, uh, leaving loved ones behind, you know, leaving the lifestyle that they were used to uh, over there in, uh, in America, Jalisco. That sacrifice that they made, that kind of has pushed me to overcome any obstacle that's thrown, you know, accomplish what they couldn't accomplish, because I know some parents wanted to study, they wanted to go to school. It's, to me, it's really important to be first gen. I have three younger siblings, and I know they're always looking up to me, and show my little brothers that with determination, and uh, setting goals, anything is possible. I know in my within my household, there is that sense of like, that sense of culture, that sense of like unity and family. Bringing that to our club, at every meeting I try to implement ways in which I can help other students feel welcome. 
and make them feel like they have that second family here on campus. I think Hispanic Heritage Month is so important and I think it's important to celebrate for anyone who's really like within the spectrum of like their culture. It's really difficult for me to like kind of associate myself like being Latina because I knew that I had broken Spanish and that my grammar wasn't proper but I think just now that I'm getting older acknowledging that you don't have to speak perfect Spanish or kind of fit this like stereotype to really identify as Latina. You don't have to fit a certain mold to be able to celebrate this month. I was actually surprised to know that a lot of uh, students are Hispanic. When I came here to know that everywhere I turn, I can actually relate to culture. Um, it made me feel kind of like at home. Everyone's just super, super welcoming. Let me just talk to you a little bit like, oh my gosh, like I love this food and I love that food. And uh, it just brings a lot of community. Finally have a school where I feel like family is like such a blessing. I mean, I like to call all the Woodbury community my family because that's what it is. It's uh, essentially my second family. Feliz mes de la herencia hispana. It's a pleasure to greet you and welcome you as we celebrate this Heritage Month. It's one that we really appreciate at Woodbury because that's who we are. We represent many cultures. We hope you've had a tremendous month celebrating and I want you to know how much we care about you and your culture and your education, and we know you'll be a great representative of Woodbury University.